Now, you might be saying, but Zoe, who has a Congo cane at home? Rich people. You love Hojo Undo, but you don't necessarily have the tools at home to practice. We've got a variety of uh, Hojo Undo implements today, as well as homemade alternatives and things that you can order or you can make yourself. We have some affiliate links below um, of some of the stuff that you may be able to buy for yourself at home, uh, as well as a reference to Michael Clark's amazing book on Hojo Undo. Unfortunately, our other favorite reference, Higuana's first volume, is out of print. But if you can find a copy, that's a great start for your hojundo. So let's start with chishi. Now this is one of the chishi my husband made. It's a four kilogram double plate weight chishi with a nice short handle. Here are some homemade alternatives that you can create. Classic concrete in yogurt pot or, or two liters soda bottle filled with concrete and a beautiful dowel stick. You can choose the width as well, depending on the size of your hands. This was made uh, by one of the old men of the dojo and he gave it to me when it was too small for him to keep using. I'll put a link in the description to, below to a video, a couple of videos on how you can make your own concrete chishi. The easiest homemade alternative, good old fashioned hammer. You can get a variety of hammer head sizes, you can get a variety of handle lengths, you can make your own up, you can choose your own handle length and your own weight. And that way it does exactly the same job as a chishi. Take in the stick of a dumbbell and one plate weight and there you go. This is a baby one, one kilogram. But when you're starting, after enough repetitions, one kilogram starts to feel like 20. So don't feel like you need a lot of weight to make your chishi effective. What makes the chishi effective is how you use it, not the amount of weight. So it can even be an affordable exercise. You can buy a little bit of weight and then as you get stronger, add a kilogram, add a kilogram. The nice thing about this over the others is that this is easily adjustable. You can buy, sorry, I work in metric. You can buy one kilogram and add one, two, three, four as you get stronger. A little bit of trivia and a reference about our dojo. These are our two heaviest chishis. This is used by our resident strongman. Uh, Sensei Richard, I call him the Hoju and Do King. He's the only person that uses this, like I just use that one kg one. And this is a bit of history. We call this the PNC, after Sensei Bram Pienz. May he rest in peace. This is a proper old school concrete, a paint tin and a very thick, possibly curtain rod pole. But yeah, he was a beast. Yeah, I think he was 6'5", 200 kilograms, very, very strong very much of the old school of Karate Man. I have done another video specifically on chishi exercises. Unfortunately, I also did it a long time ago, so I kind of hate the production quality. And I didn't have a microphone, so the sound is not great. If you put subtitles on, it's fine. But uh, for now, here are some easy exercises that you can do at home. From here, make sure good shiko touch, 45 degree hands. Swing up, breathe in and out. <sighs> breathe in. Now you can either do 40 on each side or go for a minute at a time, or you can alternate. So I like to alternate on the up and bring it down to catch. You end up coming up with a whole lot of ways to make chi shi fun when you're doing it for hours at a time, especially in the lead up to my recent grading. So this is one of my favorites. Oh. <laughs> Behind the shoulder, keeping that elbow in and down. Don't know what to do with your other hand? Put it here. Make sure you do the same, if not more, on your not so good hand. Okay, inside, outside, from here. Drop to the outside. Oh look, a chest block. One, all the way around your head. Please don't smash the back of your head. Two, and down. And then the other way. One, two, down. One, two, down. You can also do 180 degrees only. So from here, round the shoulder, 
down round the shoulder down 45 degrees you're gonna stay low the whole time on this one from here don't do a snappy thrust especially if you're young we don't want strain on the joints in fact very few things are done super fast with chishi from here turn the hands from here depending on your strength either you hold it closer to the handle in the middle or at the end disclaimer I can't do it with my hand at the end so from here thumb pointing that way you can do it two ways you can do it this way or closed fist what you're doing is tightening your fist and straightening here this is great for working on your wrist strength your grip strength and your forearm already even after just a few reps I feel a little bit of a burn happening there another one when for your legs are tired of doing shikodachi you rest your chishi's neck on your wrist and you make a big circle in circle one you can also turn the wrist let's do it from the side so it's easier to see one two one two obviously the benefits of chishi are immense as you've seen wrist strength grip strength forearms shoulders your neck core and all the repetitions of the shikodachi great for building the legs we do teach chishi to children they use this very small 500 gram weight um, just so they can get the hang of a developing their proprioception um, their understanding of where objects in their body is in space and that they feel like they're doing traditional real karate now this is one of the easier things that you can find a modern day replacement for behold ishisashi stone lock uh, these as you can see are very homemade welded deal and a modern day kettlebell so this is something that's quite easy to buy straightforward exercise <sighs> keeping those elbows in shoulders down stomach strong <sighs> and if you don't need a lot of space you can go backwards and forwards working gyakuzuki and oyazuki for our more advanced students who know Shishoshin Kata, one, two. Also one of my favorites from here. This gets very tiring very quickly. Sometimes it helps to get these, they're called a banana grip, for the following exercise. Do not do this fast. We don't want to crank any knees. Knees are expensive to replace. From here, up and down, up and down. Now, you might be saying, but Zoe, who has a Congo cane at home? Rich people. These are probably one of the rarer dojo hojo undos you will see. We are lucky enough to have more than one, um, two of which are on loan at another dojo. They know who they are. Benefits of the Congo Ken can be replicated with something called a plate weight. So I'm going to do the Congo Ken part, and the deshi is going to come and do the uh, plate weight part. We're wearing masks because South Africa is now in a third wave, and I like to set a good example for my students. The important thing is if you do have a problem with our masks, feel free to write in the comments. It only helps the engagement on our video and drives up our viewing. So by all means, comment about our masks. The first exercise, <coughs> I am going to do the twist like this. And Brian is just going to use his plate weight. There we go. <coughs> oh, and this is our paper clip. This is our lightest one from here. As I go down, Congo King goes up. And two, three, four, five. Okay, so from here, I step back into Zenka Tadach and Brian goes forward. If you're lucky to have someone at home to train with, instead of doing the Congo King passing backwards and forwards, you can still do the same thing with the plate weight. So,
if I really, if I really mess this up, it'll make a great blooper. So from here, one, Congo can over the head, two, three, ah, I've got it, four. Okay, a little bit more momentum. Ah. That's it. <laughs> This is called a makiage kigu. I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation for our Okinawan friends. If anyone would like to correct me, please send me the correct pronunciation. This is the easiest thing you can make for your home training. Requires the least amount of space. All you need is a broomstick, a drill. You make two holes, you add a knot. Don't ask me about knots. I was once brought to tears trying to copy knots out of a book. So. I'm very, very, very bad at spatial stuff. From here, hands out, and you just turn, 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 turn. You can use a brick, you can use a kettlebell that you've bought for the other parts of the exercise. Whatever you have lying around your house that's heavy. Even, you don't need a lot of weight for it to be effective. Relax from there. The higher your arm, the harder the exercise. Turn your grip around and roll. And there you go. Very simple, very affordable Hojo Undo for home. Now, this is not the most beautiful uh, nigirigame gripping jar. It's a welded tube. Nice wide grip to practice. Obviously traditional, you bring that thumb in. Now, this is not as easy to replicate at home, something like this, but you can replicate the same effect with a dumbbell, something with obviously a more square grip. Tuck that thumb in, and there you go. You can do the same exercises that you would do with a gripping jar. Sanchen. Zenkutsu Dutch. Shika Dutch. And repeat. One, two, three, and why not for luck, cat stance. So this is the back wall of the dojo with our four outdoor makiwaras. Now, I wanted to show you these because they're all homemade ones. And um, if you don't have a wall, you can mount them on a tree, even put them on the floor and practice downwards. So this is rubber, a tire, a crossbar, and only the thing is a bit noisy. We have the one with a little bit more foam and some planks. This one, yeah, when it was being designed, I think this is a little bit of a hazard, but it does force you to concentrate when you're using this makiwara. Because if you miss, you're in a world of pain. And my favorite. Now this rubber is not easy to find. Uh, from what I was told, this was actually used to, this kind of rubber was used to transport ammunition. So it's very thick. It's got a lot of uh, pushback. There's about one, two, three, four, five layers here with a plank and a tire. But you don't need something this thick and this heavy. This is great for beginners because they can't really break anything. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration as to how to make your own. Buy, you can buy a makiwara, you can buy the plank and everything, but you often have to sink them or mount them on a wall. If you're renting, these are a great alternative. So hopefully all of the things we worked on today will help you do Hojo Undo at home and give you ideas for when you're back in the dojo. If, like us, you're heading into a third wave and staying in lockdown, I hope that these things will be of use to you and you can get some of the items delivered. Like a true millennial, I ask you to please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, we love to read your comments. We do respond to every single one and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the Deshi for helping me today. And Shay will probably be back ne be next week. If he isn't, you'll see more of my face again. Arigato gozaimasu. Yay. All right. Hmm. Always starts like this. Every single video, I stand here awkwardly trying to think of what I want to say, even though I had a plan. No, 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 leave it running, leave it running. It's easier. Then I don't have to import and export multiple clips. It's easier to do two big clips and then just uh, crop it and change them as I need to. <clears throat> I'm just checking the microphone, still working. Now I'm gonna cut all of this out of us packing away. Come quickly out and pack. Like that one time we lost all the audio. 
sis. Right. Notes. Three sixty. Quick systems check. Ah, I don't have two of these. Boo. And out. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Let me just check that rolling around didn't turn off the sound. <laughs> uh, can do it behind you. But no, that's dangerous. Okay. Right, I forgot to take my mask off for that one, but it's okay. Magnus! Okay, another tester shot. Wave, Deshi, wave. There we go. Wait, okay, so take it in the middle. Mm -hmm. As I let go, we both go back. I don't know what's wrong with my dog. Why didn't I just grab two of them? What a chop. I'm not even going to go into Makiwara. Should I go into Makiwara? That one is called. One is called Sensei Brab because <laughs> it's very strong and it asks a lot of you. And I will cut out that rambly part. Hopefully, one of your comments will be featured in the next video. Or if you have any questions, why is ending the video so hard? <sighs> anyway, <sighs> nice to make my best charade dirty. Work with your hands above your head. <clears throat> yes. It feels like there are dying stars lodged in my forearms. Come on, you've got to finish it for the video. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. 